<sighs> That's a penis! No, well, actually, it does kind of look like one. Um, But yeah, anyway. Yagami-san. Hey, Greedo, what's up, bud? You got me, are you finished with the investigation? If so, we should start the hearing. Huh? The hearing? Are we really going to trial with this? Of course, Mafuyu. Or should I say, Prosecutor Fuji, are you prepared to present your case? <sighs> Fine, I've been dragged in this far. May as well see it through. Please. The court is now in session for defendant Issei Hoshino. Prosecutor Fuji, your opening statement, please. Oh my God. Well, the prosecution is firmly the belief that Hoshino-kun is the only viable culprit. And your proof? The defendant is arguing that you yourself could be the culprit. Your honor, I have a counter argument to that assertion. Hmm. Proceed, Prosecutor Fuji. If I'd been the one who ate the cake, who ate it, something should be present. Something that should be present is missing from the crime scene. Yagami-kun. Right, Yagami-kun? You can corroborate the statement, I take it. Hmm? Hmm. If Mifuyu really ate the cake, something that should exist is missing. The proof of that is, like, a fork or something? Um... But evidence can prove she didn't eat the cake? I mean... It, maybe the garbage can, I guess? But it's empty. The trash can at the scene was empty because its contents were removed okay. this morning. Yes, goodness, since it was the first one in the office, and that would probably when he took out the trash. Which means if Mafuya had eaten the cake, she would have had to discard the wrapper afterwards. And since we all confirmed the trash can hey. is empty... I got it! Well, actually, chat did, but you know, that's cool. Right, there was no wrapper in the trash can, which means I couldn't have eaten the cake. And we've thoroughly searched every trash can. They're all clean as a whistle. I see this is pretty conclusive nope. evidence. Hold it, Siori san I can present a counter argument here. Okay. Then the court will hear the defense's objection. While the wrapper may not be in the trash can, we can't rule out that you didn't hide the evidence. <laughs> objection. Predictable, Yagami King. I'd like to present the court with some new evidence. Hmm? New evidence? While you were searching the room, I performed my own investigation. Naturally. That's when this document on Sayori's desk caught my eye. It's a notice of a planned power outage. Huh? Relevance, prosecutor? <laughs> it seems there was a blackout last night, scheduled from 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. the next morning. I do remember Genda Sensei saying something about that. He warned the whole office not to keep anything in the fridge or it would spoil. Hey. Oh, I remember that too. But I had something urgent come up, so I left and forgot all about it. Hmm? Then that means... Precisely. If the cake was left inside the fridge with no power on, it would have spoiled. Despite being winter, it's uns been uns unseasonably warm. Mm. And if anyone ate it, they'd know it was spoiled after a single bite. Right. And there's no way anyone would go through with eating the whole thing. Mm. But the whole cake has vanished. Someone must have devoured the fresh cake. And there's only one span of time where that's possible. Not this morning after the cake would have spoiled. But last night, when it was still fresh. <laughs> oh, hey, wait. I'm afraid so, Hoshino-kun. The only one who could have eaten it was the one who closed up. Hoshino-kun, it can only be you. Ah! <laughs> Objection! <laughs> Excuse me? Does the defense have further arguments? Yep. Yep. I think it's too early to pronounce a verdict. There's one more possibility. This better be good. The cake wasn't the only thing that went missing from the fridge, and I have evidence to prove it. The milk Sarisan put in the fridge has been dumped, washed out, and neatly compacted. In other words, the milk was also removed from the fridge. Three cartons to be precise. Genda-sensei must have done it during his cleaning duty and act forced upon him by the victim herself. Hmm. I'm not following you, Gami. Let's consider. What would drive Genda-sensei to do this? What would he... Why would he discard three cartons of milk at once if there was some left? You're right. It's certainly an odd thing to do. There's one particular piece of evidence that points to the logic behind these actions. Power energy? Check this out. The power out? Well. Defense, does this line of reasoning have a point? What would happen to milk left inside the fridge for a whole night without electricity? I believe it would go bad. And if Genda Sensei, who had cleaning duty, found the milk that had gone bad, he probably would throw it away. Oh. Oh. 
then. It seems the prosecution is beginning to see the light. <laughs> Which means the true culprit that ate Sayori San's cake is nobody. No one ate the cake. In other words, there is no culprit to blame. Huh? Nani? <laughs> I can't believe this. Hey. You're implying Genda Sensei threw away the spoiled cake. Yeah, that's about the sum of it. Sayori herself uh, said that she hurried home last night due to an urgent matter. The outage slipped her mind entirely. Thus, when Genda Sensei found the cake had spoiled, he did his duty and discarded it. So you're saying. I kind of jumped to conclusions, and I didn't even own a jump to conclusions mat? Oh. Wow, quite a crowd in here. What brings you by, Yagami and Mafu <laughs> Mafuyakun? Welcome back, Genda Sensei. Say, who left that cake and all that milk in the fridge overnight? <laughs> didn't I practically beat you guys over the head about the power outage? And on the day I had cleaning duty of all days, it's rude to make people throw away spoiled food, you know. Straight to the heart. Straight to the heart. Oh. I believe the words were, don't you even consider the people who have to take the trash out? <gasps> Fatality. Your words, right, Shirosaki-kun. <laughs> Well, having to deal with all that spoiled food, I understand the meaning all too well now. I... I... I'm so sorry! Wow. I, I don't even think I got money for that. Jeez! You better give me some money for defending you. Just saying. Thank you. Thank you, Yagami-san. Looks like I'm clear to suspicion. <laughs> and I sentenced Sayori-san to cleaning duty for one month straight starting tomorrow. I'm sorry. There are no words to express my remorse. As my defense attorney, I'd like you to have this, Yagami-san. Thanks. I gotta say, though, I'm pretty shocked. Suri-san stays cool under pressure, but as soon as sweets get involved, you have no idea how long I've been looking forward to that cake. I can appreciate that, but as lawyers, we need to keep our heads on straight at all times. I'll work on that. Case closed, I guess. Pretty turbulent day for the criminal justice system. <laughs> oh, man. Love it. Wow. Wow. Wowie wow. Wow, wow, wow. 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 Okay. Wow. Um. Need more tickets before I do more of the other stuff. So we could do some, uh. We could do some batting. Let's do, uh, let's do a main story thing. See where this goes. Boop. I love the Dishonored shirt. Thank you. Love me some Dishonored, man. Hello! It's this guy! Where did you come from? My lord. Creepy dude is creepy. What makes a screw exquisite? Huh. Oh. Oh. You look like you want to fight. You look like you want to fight. Yeah! Oh <laughs> Oh, you powered up, bro? You powering up? You okay. Good talk. And stay down. Mm -hmm. And of course, there he is. I see you over there. Yeah, that's right. Get this cheer on. I like it. Oh. Not dead, by the way.
Yagami? What... What are you doing here? Just here to chat. To chat? If Captain Hamura knew this, he'd... What? Never mind. Don't gotta worry about that now. He's in no position to be coming after you anymore. You mean because of the shooting? Hmm. Yeah, it really shook him up. He's been MIA ever since that night. Whoa. Went into hiding even before the cops came. So, what do you want? Don't just stand there. You're a guest. Take a seat. <sighs> Sounds Damn. like the family's a mess right now. It's the first? Got that right. The office is crawling with cops. Gonna head over there myself. Heftalica doing this. great, man. What is MIA Why? missing in action? He's he's gone. Gotta shore up the defensive line. The whole family's on duty for this shit. Right. I'm just wondering. Why'd the Curie decide to come after you now? They've been pretty quiet. It's obvious. They're second in commands in town and ready for war. Took the train up from Kansai and everything. Who's this guy? Name's Satoshi Shioya. The guy's a natural born fighter. And soon enough, he'll be chairman. And he's the one who ordered the shooting? No doubt. Though he was targeting Hamura, not Kurimoto. What makes you say that? Take a look at this. It's a shot of Kurimoto right after the shooting. Ugh. Tough to look at. Man got bullets through both eyes. That's not what I want to show you. Look at his clothes. Yeah, I noticed that too. It's a white suit. His yep. Clothes? The about same them? thing Hamura was wearing. The captain was wearing the same And the dude got shot in the yesterday. back first. Wait. They're about the same age, and they look the same from behind, too. Safe to say the captain knows who they were really after. Damn. So the Kyori attack was meant to, for Hamura specifically, not the Tojo clan. Explains why he went into hiding so quick. <laughs> Funny how this all worked out. You don't look very worried. If the Kyori are gunning for Captain Hamura, why wouldn't they go for the guys who set him free, too? What, you think they're coming for me? Nah. If anything, Shintani's the one who should worry. Oh, damn. After all, he was Hamura's lawyer. That's my boy. Yeah. He won't stand a chance with Yakuza gunning for him. If I were you, I'd at least give him a heads up. Man, look at him being a bro. He didn't need to tell us any of that. Like that. Okay, I think he's on our side now. I think I think we've officially swayed him, which is great because I love Steve. <laughs> Glad to have Steve on our side. Kaido? Kim Son? Ooh. How's my favorite know-it-all doing? Good. Who is this? Sai, you know, from the Kahin Gang. And you're calling me why? Yakimi san, do not listen to him. <laughs> oh, shut your mouth. Kim san, you okay? Do you want to see your friend alive again? Get your ass over here. That bastard. Shintai's gonna have to wait. I need to go save Kim san. Oh, dude. What a dick. We're going. We're doing this right meow. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is I wonder if they put this here specifically so we wouldn't have enough time to warn Shintani so something terrible will happen to him. The cat guy, what are you doing? Yes, we're going to the beef zone. What is it? A restaurant or a male strip club? We'll never know. Actually, we will in just a second or two. Yeah, maybe it's both. That's true. Maybe it's both. Oh, no. Kim-san. Yakumi-san. I'm so sorry. Hmm. I forgot how much you pissed me off, know-it-all. And I forgot how dumb you look, so we might as well call it even. What was that? Not so, me! So, 
This is our guy, huh? I've heard a lot about you, Yagami-san. Rumor has it you're a skilled little skull buster. Uh, thanks? The name's Honda. Renji Honda from the Kagan game. Pleased to meet you. Honda, shut up and help us kick his ass already! Help you? <laughs> I love that Come dude's on, voice. forward to this fight. Not gonna waste it by just dogpiling the guy. Be glad to give you a taste too if you disagree. Hey, what's your deal? Just want to fight you, that's all. Huh? That's the whole reason I joined the Kahin. Locking fists with tough bastards like you. Dude, it's built like a so tank. Let's tango. Sorry, but I really don't have time for this. Fighting's the only thing that keeps the world spinning, Yagami-san. I know you agree. <sighs> now, enough talk. I'm ready for some fun! Go fight! Oh, I had like no life. Oh man, I should have looked at that. I should have looked at that. I had like no life, right? I'm assuming. Because I got hit, what, twice and got floored? This dude does hit like a truck also. One hit does a quarter of your life? Now, enough talk. Okay. I'm ready for some fun! We're gonna have to be more careful. I think I got some healing items. I gotta buy some more healing items. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're full now. Okay, that, that works. Oh, I also have full, uh... Douche! Let's try this, here we go, ready? Here we go. Let's this. Oh! Boom! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> You're even beefier than I'd heard. This is freaking great. I'm not too big on fighting for no reason, though. Oh, yeah? Looked like you were having fun to me. You're a natural-born fist-flinger. But... I think we're done here. What? Random bystander phoned the coppers on us. They'll be here any second. Go. What about your fight? I thought that's what keeps the world spinning. Can't exactly fight you if you're rotting away behind bars. Let's go, Yakamisan. Hurry. Uh, okay. Hey, that was a real hoot. Let's do it again sometime, Yakamisan. Is this the new Mr. Shakedown? I like it. I like it. We should be safe now. Who was that guy, Kim-san? You do not know? Oh, that was Honda. One of the Keijin Four. The... what? 
Right. Oh, 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 it's what they call the four highest ranking members of the Keijin gang. Kasai, Honda, Sakakiba, and Koga. Each of the four has their own faction, and countless thugs doing their dirty work for them. So there are two more? Yes, and I hear Koga's faction is the strongest of them all. Yes. Word on the street is that they line their pockets selling weapons on the black market. Not even the Yakuza are keeping up with how powerful they have become. Well, then let's hope this Koga guy stays far away from us. So sorry. I'm afraid it's my fault that they are coming after you. Eh, it's all good. Please, just be careful, Yakimi-san. You too, Kim-san. Depending on where you are in the story and how much time has passed, there may be more Kenshin gang members swarming the streets than usual. When the threat level is present, your chance of encountering Keihin gang members is higher. Cool. Alright. Dude, the more guys that are trying to kill me, the better. That's an opportunity for loot! Alright, let's go see what's going on with our boy. Do I have a threat level now? Does it say? I, I don't think so. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think I have a threat level right now. Maybe I have to kill, or, uh, not dead more of their guys. Wait, that guy? Wait, 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 wait. Are you a buddy? No. Reggie says, continue Judgment this afternoon, too. This is so much fun to watch. Oh, don't worry, man. We'll be, uh, we'll be playing more Judgment tomorrow morning for my birthday. And um, this afternoon, though, we're going to be doing the They Are Billions campaign, which is a ton of fun. And we're going to play some uh, about an hour or so of Mord Howl with the community, too. So there will definitely be more Judgment, though. We've got at least another uh, full morning of Judgment tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, we're actually going to be checking out a game in the morning called The Sinking City. Um, so at that point, we may slow down the They Are Billions campaign and do, like, morning Sinking City, afternoon Judgment. So... We'll, we'll, have, we'll have stuff to do. Don't worry. And then once these games start winding down, we'll start talking about when we're going to do the Borderlands franchise playthrough. We got so much to do, boys. Oh, my God. I was getting ready to ask, no Sinking City for your birthday? No, unfortunately, Sinking City does come out tomorrow, but it doesn't come out until like 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So instead of like, you know, doing one hour of Sinking City tomorrow afternoon, we're just going to start it on Wednesday morning. Yep. Hey, to Mud, I don't know what chat that was supposed to be in, but that was awesome. Hey, cat guy. That's a good list. Yeah. Hey, hell yeah, Draco Crash. Awesome. Thank you, Malember. I really appreciate that, my dude. Did we finish Danganronpa? We did. Yep, and we're going to be playing Danganronpa 2 and 3 eventually, too. Get ready for that. Hey. Oh, this is the doctor, bro. Do I need a doctor? Oh, you know what? Maybe we can buy some stuff from here. Let's go look. Oh, that's the SGDQ list? Cool. Cool. Yeah, uh, Sinking City does come out on the 27th, but we're going to be looking at it a day early. Pretty pumped. No more. What's up? Excuse me. So I used to be part of a medical university. What was that like? That was a long time ago. Thinking back on it now, I can't believe I got swept up in all that bullshit. All I ever thought about was how to get tenured, even at the cost of the people around me. Couldn't trust anyone. After I left the hospital and ended up on the streets, these folks were the only ones that showed me any kind of dignity. They've been taking care of me ever since. Wow, I had no idea. Moroboshi uh, sensei, help, we need a doctor. What's wrong, Hamanaka-san? It's Kondo-san, he got into an accident? What? We're bringing him here now so you can take a look. Oh, dude. Alright, I've done everything I can. 
but we don't have enough blood for a proper transfusion. Yagami-san. Yagami-san. Hamanaka-san. I have a favor to ask. Mm -hmm. Sure thing. What is it, Moroboshi-sensei? We need people who can donate type O blood to Kondo-san. Several of them. Okay, I'll ask around the homeless community. Yagami-san? Yeah. I'm gonna ask around the champion district. So could you take care of the public park three? Public park three. Got it. All right, I'm counting on you. Well? Yagami-san. This was definitely not what I was gonna do, but I need a medical kit. Damn! I don't need one that bad. Too expensive, boy. Uh, I, I guess we're gonna help this guy real quick. I mean, Condoson's kind of a bro, so we're doing it live. Can I give a quick rundown of the story so far? Not really, DeForce. It's, it's gotten... It's gotten pretty complex, and I, I wouldn't want to miss anything. Um, yeah, it's it's the TLDR is it's a investigation game based on a fallen lawyer who has become an investigator, and there's all sorts of stuff going on that we're still trying to figure out and work through and everything. So I I honestly am not entirely sure. Like there's so many unknowns at this point that I just I'm still figuring out what's going on myself. Put that knife down, boy. You're gonna hurt somebody. But it's it's been really cool so far. I'll say that right now. This game has been great so far. The story has been engaging. The side stuff is fun. The combat's good. The mini games are on point. The map is beautiful. But it's just this is this is a great. Game. Hey, Flatline, how you been, bud? Stay down. Mm, wait, where, where am I supposed to go here? Uh, my subordinate is missing. Dude, I have so many... Oh. No, that's not it. He said the Children's Park, right? Isn't that there? Oh, Children's Park 3. There's only one. That's right where I was. Is that is that where I'm supposed to go? Did he say I was supposed to take the Champions District or he was? Oh, Public Park 3. Oh, I'm gonna, let's ask these guys anyway. Thanks, chat. Hi. Help our planet! That's right. Ride a bike, kids. Okay. What a waste. Rude. I can't warn Shintani anymore? Oh, I would! But dude, this guy's gonna die. I got I gotta help this bro out. Kondo's the dude that introduced me to Dr. Bro, so I mean, we gotta do what we can here, man. This is important. See ya! And stay down. Is anyone here blood type O? Why is this all of a sudden? This guy named Kondo-san got into an accident and needs a blood transfusion fast. What'd you say? Kanchan's hurt? You serious? Yes, so please, is there anyone with type O blood? I'm type O. Great, now would you please come with me right away? Sure, anything for Kanchan. Okay. Awesome. 
Green Spawn celebrating his one year today. Thank you for that, my dude. All right, that should do it. That was a close one. Moroboshi Sensei, thank you so much. And I'm so happy right now. Thanks again, Yamisan. Sorry to put you out like that. Awesome. It was no trouble at all. Well, I need to thank you somehow. If you find yourself injured, I'll treat you anytime. Stop by whenever medicine alone won't do the trick. You do have to charge you, of course. <laughs> Sounds like just what oh. the doctor ordered. Okay, so how much is the heal? Yo, let me talk. We need a checkup. 20,000 yen? No, I'll just go get some food, dude. Damn. Well, you weren't worth it. <laughs> All right. Well, then. Whew. Yeah, that's one heck of a checkup. I know, right? Good God, I miss Molly. Are we in here? What's this? No, we've never eaten here. There'll be some draft beer, man. Some soup, some salad, a beef plate. Yeah. We almost bought this place out, man. Good stuff. Back to it. Uh, SBH Silent. Shout out to Kofor. It's hard work and incredible channel. Thank you for providing an incredible show and hilarious commentary from SBH Silent. Well, that's nice of you, dude. I appreciate that, my man. Glad you're having fun. Thanks for the meal. Glad you enjoyed it, sir. Thanks for always stopping by. By the way, have you heard we're adding a new entree? Oh, yeah. I can't wait to try it. Please do. I came with the recipe myself, and I must say it's one of my finest creations. Interesting. Are you the manager by chance? That's right. Please call me Nasugawa. Hi, Hiroto Nasugawa. Got it. I'm Yagami. Nice to meet you. Yagami-san. Nice to meet you too, Yagami-san. Please come back and try our new entree. I'm sure you'll love it. Cool. I'm sure I will. Next time, then. Well, cool. We'll have to check back in with him later. Oh, look! It's the cat guy! Dude, he's going to turn out to be like the ultimate fighter or last guy. He's going to be the boss of the game. And he's going to be like, I was following you the entire time. <laughs> you never noticed, did you? I'm going to be like, yeah, I did every time. <sighs> you damn stalker. <sighs> With my army of cat spies. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get the health, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the Boop. Mm -hmm. Have a good night, Joku. We'll see you later, buddy. Let's see. Maybe we should go warn Shinani. <laughs> oh, hey, dudes. You guys gonna fight? Yeah, you is. Boom! Yes, we're doing this. That is how you start a battle. That's Vote Co for voice actor for games? Oh, I, I hope so, dude. I hope so. Hopefully one day. I would love to do voices in video games. That'd be so much fun. Mm -hmm. Wait, can I just be a huge jerk? Oh god, I'm totally that guy right now. Hold on, hold on. Oh, my bad. Oh, my fault. Oh, so oh, oh, my bad. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, oh, is that your bike? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God. What have I done? Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. So oh. Man, just terrible. Yeah, Tenocon next week. I know, man. Can't wait. Can't wait. We're going to get some big news at Tenocon. Big news, boys. Big news. Can't wait for Empyrean. Can't wait for new war info. Those chairs just exploded. That was awesome. It's gonna be good. Koso clumsy. Yeah. Boop. Oh, 
give up, do you? Ow! Boop. And stay down. Smugglers Joe agreed completely. I have become bike death, destroyer of those little bells. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, is Shintani Sensei not here? Beats me. What do you need him for? Just want to ask him about something. I'll try back later. Hold on a sec. Yagami. You plan on twiddling your thumbs until Shintani comes back? Are you bored? Well, I can't say I'm busy. <laughs> I have baseball to play. How dare you suggest such a thing? Uh, then I've got the perfect job for you. Oh. Mm-mm. I have a client who needs a bodyguard, and I want you to fill the post, Yagami. Oh. Hmm? A bodyguard? What kind of clients are you taking these days? Oh, it's just a messy custody battle that's going on, that's going to court. I'm representing the mother. Her name is Azusa Otaki, and her daughter is Karen. Oh. They're set to appear in domestic affairs court today, and I'd like you to protect them until they get there. Protect them? Who do they need protection from? <sighs> Apparently the father was Yakuza until very recently. The way she tells it, she got into a huge fight with him and had to flee with her daughter. So you're giving her a bodyguard just because he's ex-Yakuza? It doesn't... Isn't that kind of an overreaction? The poor woman doesn't seem to think so. She said her husband would do anything to get his daughter back. Her husband's name is Jin Otaki. It might not even come to it, but can you protect them from him if it does? Yep. All right, seems pretty clear. Who knows when Shintani-sensei will be back anyway, so I guess I'll Thank help. Thank you. Sorry, hey. I'll pay you. By the way, ever heard of Shune... Oikawa, the lawyer? Hmm? Oikawa? No, I don't think I have. He's representing the father, but he's formerly one of mine. Huh? He worked here? Yeah. Yeah, he was gone before you started. One of those elite types who passed the bar real early in life. But he wanted to win his cases by any means necessary, even bribery or blackmail. Yeah? I'm surprised I haven't heard of him then. He was good. He had some real potential. That's why I came down, down hard on him about changing his ways, but he didn't give a damn. <sighs> In that end, I had no choice. I fired him. I thought maybe that would be the wake-up call he needed. But all it did was give him a chip on his shoulder. I swear the man's only only lives to beat me down now. Or to beat me now. Hmm. Out of revenge for firing him or something? Yeah. Yeah, but living for revenge just makes you sloppy. He'll probably never learn. Damn. Up. Oh. Thanks, Barry. Appreciate it, bud. Anyway, do you know where this mother and her daughter are now? They were here not long ago, actually. She said they had some shopping to do, and I couldn't stop her. <sighs> For being her legal counsel, she doesn't seem to want to take my advice. Hmm. Sounds like a lovely family. Any idea where they might have gone? She said something about getting some clothes to make themselves presentable in court. So somewhere with clothes. All right, I'll go find her. And that, friendos, is the conclusion of today's episode of Judgment. Thank you guys so much for being here today. We made a lot more progress in this very awesome game. Uh, this has been a huge amount of fun. I need to go right now because I need to get lunch. And I need to be back here a little bit early because we've got Mordhau for an hour when I come back for anyone that wants to do that. And then we're going to be checking out more of the They Are Billions campaign. I think we have like one more mission to do in They Are Billions. And then we're going to get to those weird like defense missions, which I'm really looking forward to. It's going to be interesting. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for being here. Um, thank you for all the support today as well. It has been awesome. Uh, I will be back for or probably right around... 1 p.m. So like 1, 12.45, 1 p.m. for Mordhau. Again, we're going to be doing that for an hour with Madrinas. Uh, we're also going to have like some coffee deals and stuff for all you coffee deal drinkers out there. And in that note, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for birthday stuff and judgment. Tomorrow afternoon probably for more They Are Billions. And uh, yeah, then Sinking City on Wednesday. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are on the globe. As always, thank you for spending some of your life here. And I will see you fine folks in just about an hour and a half for more fun and games. Bye-bye.